some new information has leaked about the potential Doctor Who spin-off, which is perhaps at least provisionally called The Land Between the Earth and the Sea. Potential cast members, a director, a producer, the amount of episodes that we might get, and when it will start filming are all part of this information, uh, which we'll be talking about in this video and speculating on what form, given that information, the series might take. Hi, welcome to Culture Filter, I'm the Filling Filter, and we're going to be talking about Doctor Who spin-offs today, the brand new, potentially first proper spin-off, if we're not counting Tales of the TARDIS, of this new era. Now the title, The Land Between the Earth and the Sea, has been speculated about ever since the Bad Wolf, the production company that now makes Doctor Who, registered it as a trademark way back, I don't even know how long ago now, but it was quite a while ago, way before series one even aired, potentially when they were still filming even, and that set the ball rolling about speculation about what what it might include, and what it might include according to these latest leaks is a returning character to Doctor Who, but also the Sea Devils. That was speculated ages ago, I made videos on it, but apparently, yes, the Sea Devils are going to be involved in this. But also, yes, returning companion. We'll talk about that in a second. So first of all, where did this information come from? Well, we've got several different sources. The first one is the CV of Carolyn Parry Jones, uh, who has added this onto her CV. And apparently, according to that, it consists of five episodes. I suspect it will be a serialised story, but we don't know. Five episodes is quite short to do a... Uh, mind you, we've only got eight for Doctor Who. Who knows? We could have an episodic but I suspect probably it'll be more of a serialised story. It's listed as a five times one hour fantasy series. Fantasy, not science fiction. That's interesting as well. There is also a director listed on this, Dylan Holmes Williams, who has directed for Doctor Who before. He directed 73 Yards and Dot and Bubble. So uh, he's got form in Doctor Who. Now, interestingly, 73 Yards, the words, the land before, the land between the... No, was it the land between the war between the earth and the sea? That's it. Um, that has that was mentioned. That was a, that was a line of dialogue in seventy three yards. The Doctor is talking about the Welsh coastline, and he's you know just uses it as a phrase: the war between the land and the sea. <laughs> oh, the rocks and the water it never ends. The war between the land and the sea. So, is that gonna play into this at all? One other rumour I have heard, although I don't have a particular source for this one, is that it's going to involve a character, a returning character, coming to a, a remote rural location. So are we going to be returning to somewhere along the Welsh coast, perhaps, where the sea meets the land? If it involves the sea devils, it, the coast is going to be involved somewhere, isn't it? Another part of this leak is that it's going to be filming in September this year. Now that's after all of season two will have wrapped filming and probably before season three is even potentially starting filming. So what does that mean in terms of release? I suspect it will come maybe after season two. Something to plug that gap between season two and season three, which will hopefully be just a year long gap again and we will get a series every year, but hopefully it might plug the other half of the year. So if we get season two hopefully a little bit earlier maybe next year in in 2025 maybe maybe like a february start or something like that maybe at the latest a march start would be good then this can plug a sort of autumn slot potentially before we then get the christmas special and hopefully have a season three early 2026 that would be my hope but you know we'll see filming now certainly gives time to get a october 2025 release in place i think the other thing about the timing of that is it gives space to have a season two episode set it up in some way the the problem we had with class for instance as the last spin-off we got from the doctor who universe is that it wasn't set up in a episode at all whereas torchwood but through captain jack was set up in series one and then series two of the revival and Sarah Jane Adventures was set up by this the school reunion and reintroducing that character. I think we need an episode in season two to reintroduce the rumoured returning companion, to reintroduce them to audiences. And that returning companion is one Martha Jones. 
This is according to a post on Gallifrey Base, the forums, by uh, somebody goes by Brandon B, who apparently, I am led to believe, is a, a source that has had reliable information in the past. So while obviously this is just a rumour, a potential leak, take it with a grain of salt. Hopefully, if he's had a good track record in the past, this is going to be uh, one of those instances where he's got something right. Because yes, Martha Jones might be returning. And that makes sense, because you know that Hooniverse banner that they've had on iPlayer and various other places for a little while? They've got various characters in that. One from each of the spin-offs, for instance, they've got Sarah Jane in there, they've got Gwen Cooper from Torchwood, representing Torchwood. They've got things from the spin-offs, things that are represented by the stuff available on the Hooniverse on iPlayer. And then they've got Martha Jones in there. So they've also got Tom Baker to represent the classic series. They've got David Tennant and obviously current Dr. Shuti Gatwa. But they have Martha Jones there as well, which is a bit of an odd inclusion by herself. But if she's a big part of the spin-off, it makes more sense. According to this leak, Martha will be leading the series and set in a small, rural, present-day English town. So maybe not the Welsh coast, but if it's the Sea Devils, probably will be a coastal town of some kind. Um, and the unit team are involved, Kate, Shirley and Mel, etc. Now, here's where we get into the speculation. That's the leaks. But what kind of form might this series take? We last saw Martha on screen as a kind of freelance agent of some kind working alongside her brand new husband Mickey Smith and the doctor the 10th doctor was checking in on them just before his regeneration she would she had left unit she had worked for unit she had left unit and now she was kind of freelance with her husband Mickey Smith now given the kind of controversial status of Noel Clark I very much doubt Mickey Smith will be a part of this series at all so expect them to be divorced or something by this point in her life and had to be just going it alone effectively possibly still as a freelancer now i wonder if maybe obviously unit are involved in this but that doesn't necessarily mean she's back working as an employee of unit but she may work alongside unit in a kind of freelance capacity perhaps the leak says the title isn't literal um although with the sea devils being in it there's some kind of aspect there, but if it's not literal, I guess it's not literally a war between humans and sea devils, but there's bound to be some kind of conflict. Or are they on the same side for once against a different foe? Maybe they have to team up against a new foe of some kind. The post on Gallifrey Base also says it's, in quotes, quite distinctive. What that means, who knows? I suspect, like I said, it will be a serialised story, although we've had that in Torchwood before, we've had that in Doctor Who before, with Flux. So it's not like that would be completely distinctive, but the fact that they're going for a fantasy angle, or at least it's listed as a fantasy rather than a sci-fi, also makes me think that it might involve maybe some of the more magical supernatural sides we've had in the Hooniverse recently, and maybe you know, seeing how the Sea Devils deal with that. Maybe they've got their own myths and legends which will come into play in this series. But look, this is all very exciting. I'm looking forward to seeing a brand new spin-off, whether or not it will be a sort of self-contained five-episode series and that will be it, or something that can go on to a season two and a season three, etc., etc., like Torchwood and the Sarah Jane was. We'll have to wait and see. It might just be a, a one-off, what they call them, limited, limited series, but we, I guess we will find out. I'm looking forward to this. What do you want to see Martha get up to? What kind of stage of her life do you want her to be at if she is in this? Let me know all that in the comments below. And let me know what you, how you think the Sea Devils will be involved as well. Don't forget to hit subscribe down below for more Doctor Who videos, theories, news videos, rankings, all that sort of stuff on this channel. So click subscribe down below. And I'll see you for another video soon. Goodbye.